It's time for another episode of Old School. It's time to take my passenger downtown, apparently. This is Mafia on the Sony PlayStation 2. I have fond memories of this game, kind of. Kind of. We'll get to that later. Um, and when it comes to anything Mafia-related, not just the game franchise, but in general, especially New York Italian Mafia, so the Sopranos, Goodfellas. I have a keen interest in that kind of stuff. So, I've played this. I've played Mafia 3. I've never played Mafia 2. Um, and I think I owned this, but I definitely played it back in the day. I might have borrowed it from someone. Who knows? Um, but yeah, this game. So, it's being upscaled by... The software I'm emulating it on, PCSX2, so it looks nice and shiny in 1080p. It runs okay, but again, we'll get to my issues with this game. Well, I'll tell you straight away what one of my issues is, is this, as I go the wrong way. It's how the game begins. This takes forever to get going. There'll be editing done to this episode of Old School because otherwise you're going to sit there looking at lots of this. Me being the taxi driver. Because that's that's how the story starts if you haven't played this game. You start out as a taxi driving dude and then it opens up a little bit and then you become part of the Mafia. And it goes from there. But yeah, there's lots of very lengthy loading times. Lots of lengthy cutscenes. I love the cutscenes in this. I like the voice acting and the characters are really interesting. The story's really good. But I'll just say it now. I'll just say it now. In this version, the PS2, the original version, this is also on PC and Xbox. Um, it, the combat and that kind of thing. Just your general third person adventuring in this is poorly done it's poorly implemented in this game I, I that's how i remember it being very frustrating to play don't expect i was gonna say the smoothness of a gta even though gta wasn't the smoothest of games either around now but it was leaps and bounds ahead of this from a gameplay perspective you play this game for the story, basically, and I think we'll get loading time when we cross the bridge. <laughs> there it is. So what I'll do with these loading times, I'll edit them in the future, in the future <laughs> of the video, but not, not this time. I'll give you some review scores, guys. So if I glance over here at the other screen, this scored reasonably well on PS2. It had a 7 out of 10 at GameSpot, 6.9 at GameZone, a 6.8 at IGN. Is it still loading? Yes, it is. Uh, these load times are so bad. Maxim. Who remembers that magazine? I think it was a gentleman's magazine, wasn't it? I don't know. That gave it um, a 4 out of 10, which is harsh. This isn't a 4 out of 10 for me. But again, I'm biased. And I find the story and the characters very interesting in this. Um, the place to play this was PC. PC was the best version. It had lots of nines on PC. Like, nines everywhere. So I need to try the PC version. I played and finished the remake, or the remaster, on PS4 last year now, I think it would have been, and really enjoyed it. So it looks like it's your open-world GTA kind of game. It's not. This game's linear. It is linear. You can drive around the city and mess around in the first few hours of the game, for sure. But there's not much you could do within the city. This is a story-driven experience, make no mistake about that. Which is fine, because I like my linear story-driven video games. Um, so to know where I'm going here, if you, if you don't know, I'm assuming you haven't played this game. Um, but you follow the compass on the top left-hand side. You've also got a speed limiter on your car. You can see that 60 miles per hour or kilometers per hour sign above my speedometer there. I can toggle that off. Basically, that enforces or ensures that I don't go above 60 because the police will pull me over if they see me and give me a speeding ticket. There, is, there are things about this game that are ahead of its time. Some of the AI in this game is pretty cool for its time. But there's a lot of this. Picking up passengers, dropping them off in the first few hours of the game, or the first hour or so. 
Why didn't they just have one? Just do one little taxi mission and then the game gets going. There's too much of this, in my opinion, of course. So we'll skip, or rather I'll play on, but I will go back and edit the video to when I'm on foot and doing some more Mafia-related stuff. Okay, guys, so I am <laughs> dropping off my eighth passenger of the day. I'm exaggerating for effect. But yeah, it's getting tedious now. Driving the cars isn't the easiest in this either. And it's not me sucking. They're old cars and they perform and handle like these cars probably would have handled. I don't know because they're very, very old cars. They don't pick up much speed. It's not until much later in the story you actually get a decent car in this, if I remember correctly. We get this like... It's like a race car. And you speed around on that, doing, an, uh, doing a mission. Um, but yeah, a lot of the game is driving around in these kind of cars, and they're very, very slow. Which is authentic, but can be frustrating. Because I didn't start recording from the very beginning, but at the very beginning, you have to get away from some gangsters, basically. And it can take a while unless they crash i got lucky and they crashed <laughs> turning one of the corners it kind of glitched glitched out and they were on the car was on the on its side so uh, they couldn't move then but yeah that can go on forever but anyway oh i gotta get to this bridge haven't i i gotta cross this uh river i mean new york i think this is new york yeah it is isn't it Looks pretty good for the PS2 era. Very, very empty streets, though. you got to bear in mind, this is 20 past 1 in the afternoon. New York would be bustling at lunchtime, wouldn't it? you change your camera angles like this. I mean, who plays with that camera angle? It's horrible. Yeah, the streets are just so empty. But I'm not going to criticise the game for that. Because... I was going to say because it's PS2, but GTA managed to do it well. But Rockstar... I guess we're just a, a very talented developer. But this looks okay, this game graphically, I think. It's a bit rough here and there. Some major popping, texture popping, and that kind of thing which goes on. And we're going to get to a loading time again, aren't we? Oh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, I'll keep this loading time in and any from here on in. I'll, um, I'll cut from the video. So what else have we got when it comes to tidbits of trivia? Um, Mafia was well received. So this is the wiki. Mafia was well received by critics upon release as more realistic and serious than a usual GTA style game. It was compared to GTA 3 in a positive way at the time. Game Informer wrote, this is a lot like GTA 3. It's awesome. And there's no shame in taking a proven gameplay formula and changing it a little bit. Uh, I think they're being a bit overly kind to the game there. Um, Mafia contains a much bigger city to explore than most video games of the time with mul multiple forms of available transport in addition to an expansive countryside. Yeah, that's true. Countryside bit is, I think, towards the latter stages of this game. Let me know what Mafia 2 is like, guys. Oh, she's complaining, the passenger, because I'm um, going too quick. I'm not using the speed limiter. So I've got to keep an eye on my little mini-map on the top left there. Because if I see little flashing boxes, basically, that looks... Uh, well, it means it'll be police cars. And like I say, they'll give me a speeding ticket, which you don't have to pay. You can try and just drive away from them. I loved that game play mechanic. At the time, it blew me away. There you go. So I've dropped the lady off. Here comes the next fella. Yeah, the voice acting's so good. I know I'm waffling over the top of the talk in there, but I will let you see some cutscenes in this. I mean, a lot of you watching this will have played this, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I borrowed this, actually. I don't think I ever bought this game. But, um, yeah, I'm keen on trying Mafia 2 on PS5, because I think it's still on PlayStation Premium, the trilogy. Or the first two, at least. I like Mafia 3 as well, I have to say. 
I know that had its um, critics, but I enjoyed it. Okay, let's go back over the bridge. I mean, look how tedious this gets, guys. It's like... Really? It's just like a taxi simulator. Honestly, it's crazy how... Yeah, it's crazy how they kind of got away with this in a way. It's just blatant padding. Padding out the game. But I will edit this next load in screen. Here it comes. And I'm back. Um, so I think we're quite close to the destination for this fella who I'm supposed to drop off, drop off somewhere. Oh, look, I got a fine. The police have seen me. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing, okay? Just little bits of um, dialogue like that, like dynamic dialogue as you're playing from the, from the main character is really cool. Again, at the time, I was really impressed with it. Look at, <laughs> look at these dudes. So I'm going to pay this and not mess around too much because I want to get... Or I want to progress this so we get to... Some... Uh, Cutscene, so you can see some of the characters and that kind of thing. There's real music in the car on the radio. I don't know if I'll have to edit these bits out where I can hear the music, guys. Because of uh, copyright. We'll soon see. I'll upload the video first and see what YouTube thinks. And then if I have to edit it again, I can always just put my own sort of copyright-free music. But then you won't hear the car effects and stuff. But it is what it is. Um, but yeah, do let me know your memories with this. Let me know your favourite Mafia game out of the three. I mean, the premise is ideal for your video game, isn't it? It's like, play as the crooks against the cops, essentially, or the crooks against rival crooks. And make money and shoot things or shoot people and drive drive around cities it's all in there isn't it for that kind of for that formula of video game that oh, so many of us like but it's just getting it executed right is it thq the publisher for this i'm not entirely sure anyway yeah this this plays okay this it's definitely aged because it is yeah 20 year old game now is it 20 years old i don't know it's old um here we go a very softly spoken man then drop me off at the entrance please those little loading times are fine it's just whenever you cross any boundaries or borders the things are oh, not another one really to get to the department store car lot in Little Italy. Can you take me there? No problem. Oh, his voice acting was terrible as I was praising the voice acting. It was so wooden. And then through the tunnel. It's the shortest way. Ah. Uh, okay, let's go to Little it Italy then. Probably. Hey, someone's just. Hey, they've just knocked him over twice, poor fella, on the floor. What happened then? Crazy traffic. Crazy. Anyway, probably another edit in a bit, guys. Otherwise, this will go on far too long. Oh, I remember this. Okay. Run through some alleys. Or oh, is it in here? No, it's not in there. It's through the alley. Yeah, um, the dudes who are trying to kill me, basically, are the per people I was referencing earlier when, at the beginning of the game, you have to get away from a rival gang. Oh, listen to that music. I mean, for its time, it was like being in a movie and playing in a Mafia movie. And that's what was so cool about it, even though it was mega rough to play. And it still feels rough to me, this. You can't ever see... I don't think you could ever see the bottom of the protagonist's body. It's always just like, yeah, from his midriff. Which is a bit weird. I, I might be wrong on that. I, I'm pretty sure, though, that you only ever see this kind of view of him, which is disorientating for me. Do I go up there? 
No, I'm not going to risk it. It looks like a dead end. Okay. I'll put you out of your misery. <laughs> oh, I can hear gunshots. I don't want to turn around, but they sound close. All right, here we go. Let's get into this bar. So this is the Mafia's hideout. Or not hideout, everyone knows it's the Mafia, but it's where they hang out. Oh. And those dudes have gone in there from the rival gang and just been killed, basically. Some of the music in this game is just is so good. Like some, it's really some really well selected songs from the era. Boy saved my skin that time, but I certainly wasn't in a good situation. I had paid off my debts for the car repairs, but my boss didn't want to employ anyone who's in the mob. It just wasn't good business. When I saw the fancy getup of Salieri's boys, I thought that it can't be too bad to work for him. Besides, I had nothing to lose. Morello was out to get me, so driving a cab wasn't the best job. Plus, the prospect of Salieri's dough wasn't so terrible. So, like I always say, better to die young and loaded. The Mafia game, or what is the Mafia game where you start in the army? It's like a flashback, and it's like a third-person shooter. Is that Mafia 2? Because if that's the case, I have played it. Oh, not more loading times. Not more. Let's do an edit. Well, it looks like Morello is really trying to make me mad. But I'm a reasonable person. What do they call you, son? Thomas Angelo. I've decided to give you a shot, Tommy. I like new faces. We're one big family here. You already know Paulie and Sam. Frank here is my right hand and looks after the legal side of our business. The one behind the bar is Luigi. This business ain't easy to swallow, but Luigi's a wonderful cook. In Italian New York Mafia related TV and video game stuff, there's always someone called Pauly. There's always a character called Pauly. Sometimes there's several characters called Pauly. I have some rules around here. Don't cross paths with the cops. They're on our payroll, so they'll leave you alone. But if you go too far, they'll all come after you. Money or no money. If they ever pick you up, say nothing, and I will take care of you. I show my gratitude to those people that help me, and there aren't many left to betray me. Capiche? Yes, Mr. Salieri. I'm glad. Today I'll give you a chance to get back at those bastards who wrecked your taxi. We'll see what you're made of. Morello has a bar where all his gorillas go. They all have their cars parked behind the fence next to the bar. If you're good, they won't be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> Paulie will go with you just in case. Go see Vincenzo for equipment and Ralph for some wheels. I wouldn't trust him so much. He seemed hesitant. He's just accepting now because he has no choice. We'll see, Frank. We'll see. I'm more concerned about what Morello's problem is. Does he really want to start a war? Vincenzo is a Don's gun expert. They've known each other since they were kids. He gets you whatever you want. Tommy guns to cannons. Then he can set you up. I always pay him a visit before a job. Buongiorno, Vincenzo. Ciao, Pulley. This here's Tom. Just started up with us. Pleased to meet you, Tom. What can I do for the both of you? We got a job to do. We need something to write off a few cars. 
This classic piece of sports equipment should do the job, and if not, I've mixed up a few cocktails. Oh, Molotovs. So, I remember this. Yeah, the, your first proper mission in this is go to a... Go to the rival gang to send a message. Basically, blow up. Well, not blow up their cars, but damage their cars. Bring back the bat. It's my nephew's. Sure thing. Yeah, this game's cool. I, I I still like it. I still like even though it's rough as all hell. Ralph, I'll introduce you to is a complete idiot. But he's got a special way with cars. I don't get how such a moron could know anything about anything. But that's the way it goes. This place is like your hub for the rest of the game now, I think. It's where you come back and actually upgrade weapons and, and new cars and stuff. Limping, so we got two cripples working here. That's right, but I ain't a fool. Um, uh -huh. Ralph, this is Tom. If you bring him a stolen car, Tommy, I'll make it your own, and no one will know the difference. Ralph, Tom and me have a job to do. You're supposed to have some wheels for us? Right. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> it ain't no hot rod, <laughs> but it should really do for you. Nice. Okay, so you would have noticed another edit, guys. Because there was a lot more driving and a very, very lengthy loading screen <laughs> again, so... Right, this is the place I need to be. You can see from the little blue X on the mini-map there. Let's try and go around the back, actually. If I remember correctly, there's a gate into this place. Have I got a gun? I don't think I have, you know. Okay. No, uh, there's no... I'm not sure how I toggle weapons, but I don't think I have got a firearm. Oh, press up and down on D-pad. Okay. No, I've got no, um, no guns. I've got Molotovs. And I've got the baseball bat. Right, how am I going to do this then? Let's think. Oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Right, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, they've heard... They've heard the cars getting blown up. Oh, look how slow that damage meter's filling up. It's going to take forever with a baseball bat. Uh-oh. And these guys will have guns. They have... Let's get out of there and let's jump in the car and try and... I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to tackle this. They could have given me a gun. Okay. Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> it's so rough this is to play. It's so, so clunky. And... I thought it back it back in the day as well. I didn't like the actual gameplay. I just enjoyed the journey with it, the experience, the story, the plot. I loved all that about it. It's just the actual... Like I say, the actual gameplay isn't the best. It's not the worst, but it's certainly not GTA. GTA did things a lot better, in my opinion. Okay. He's going to hear me whack in this, surely. Yeah, he has. Oh, I don't think I'm doing this correctly. There's a way to do this. That is the thing with this game, though. You can approach certain missions how you want. Oh. oh I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Right, okay. Let's uh, take three. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've stand no chance without a gun when I've got a baseball bat. It's just like, really? 
Right, don't go through the front fighting in another way, is what the dude in the car with me has just said. So, we're doing that. Let's go around the back. Oh, no. <laughs> What's that Einstein quote? <laughs> About expecting different results and doing the same thing over and over. The definition of insanity. I've butchered that, but you kind of get the drift. I get my drift. Oh! Oh, look at that. I took out two of them. And they've dropped their firearms, their guns. You can see the little red markers. But i got a dude chasing me. Okay. Right, come here, you. Because he's just got his fists. Oh, no. My health is on four. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, my health's on one. But they're still alive. Why is my mate just sat in the car and just not even helping me? But at least I've got their guns now, but... Ah. <laughs> Let's try that again. But yeah, the... The driving bits are okay. I was a bit harsh on them earlier. Once you get past the cab stuff... It, the, the driving's okay, especially when you get better cars. It's just the on-foot stuff in this game that let it down. I reckon this game would have scored higher than it did on the consoles. Should we just run these dudes over? Uh, he still says, hey, what are you doing here? Get out of here, even though I'm running him over. He didn't have a gun earlier, did he, this guy? Uh oh. Yeah, I think I need to try the PC version because the remaster on PS4, I'm assuming, is is more like that PC version because the the remaster of this or the remake plays really well. Hey, this is um. This is hard going because of the, the camera. I can't toggle or turn that camera around. <laughs> Do you see him fly? There's some major glitching going on with this. Some of the physics in this game are non-existent at times. Hey! That might have been an emulation glitch with the wheels on the car going crazy there. I don't know. When it comes to this game, I used to see unusual stuff happening when I used to play it natively on the console back in the day. So maybe it's not emulation. I don't know. I'm completely butchering this. You're not supposed to do this. I'm just trying to uh, explore the different ways you can approach this mission. And that's what I like about these kind of games. It's what I adore about GTA 5. Even GTA Online to this day. If, um, say, and I jump on with, with Dave. Big shout out to Dave who helps with the channel. Very, very good friend of mine. We'd play hours and hours of co-op GTA, just approaching the missions against the AI. We weren't really interested in the open worldy, well it is open world GTA, but the the stuff like running around the map and killing other players. We we loved playing the missions together. There was a name for the missions. I can't exactly remember what they were called in GTA Online. But my point being is I love these open world games where you have several ways to tackle uh, the mission and and just play it how you want. And that was the cool thing about this game at the time, coupled with the really good AI. Well, I say really good, but the things they were trying to do with the AI, like the police giving you speeding tickets and having a speed limiter on your car. There was a lot of sim elements in this. Again, it's ahead of its time, I think, anyway. It was very ambitious. And I respect any developer who tries to give us something ambitious and a little bit a little bit more out there rather than just the generic crap that can get churned out 
month after month, year after year, when it comes to the video game landscape. Oh, can you hear the screams? Who is that, though? All I can hear is... Oh, very faint. Uh, moans. That sounded dodgy. I'm not going to just sit here moaning, guys. Because um, my uh, window's open and my neighbour's in the back garden, so... Yeah. She'll wonder what's up. Oh, they just sat in the car. Look, look. They're just in the car. This is the thing with this game. They're just beeping away at this... This motor that's blocking their path, basically. I don't know where the last car is that I'm supposed to blow up. And I can't exactly just go doing it in front of the police. Oh, you couldn't make it up. Trust the police to be here as I'm actually about to complete this. This is hilarious. Hmm, what shall I do? Shall I go and see the police? I wonder if they'll attack me if I run over. Probably will, won't they? Shall I shoot their tyres out? Oh, I don't know what to do here. Because I need to blow that car up, I think, that's blocking their path. Uh-oh. It's going to kick off. Oh, it's so rough to play. <laughs> the gun playing this is woeful. It's atrocious. I, in my opinion, of course. Right, he's down. But there's one other cop. Where is he? I'm on 11 health. I'm on one. Where is he? He was shooting me through the car. Oh. <laughs> it's such a frustrating game. It really is. It's not even, like, unfair or overly challenging or anything it's just it's game i keep saying it but the gameplay mechanics hold it back from being a special video game it's kind of a cult classic a lot of people love mafia and mafia 2 and when they were released there was a lot of fanfare when they were remastered i should say re-released there was a lot of fanfare there was a lot of excited gamers i was what i was one of them But yeah, that's a quick look at Mafia. I think we'll call it an end there, guys. Because it's just going to be the, me doing this over and over again. <laughs> again, please let me know what you thought of this game. Have you got a lot of fond memories with it? Do you think I'm going to be a little bit overly critical when it comes to the gameplay in this? Um, look out for more content coming to the channel. I've got loads and loads of stuff planned as I Molotov that car. You've done enough damage. That's like something my mum would say to me. When I was in trouble, when I was a kid. Mike, you've done enough damage for one day. But, <laughs> Hey! The way the wheels flew off then. Yeah, I'll speak to you all soon, guys. Take care.